This release from the brand of zoologist Bat has a huge cult following, especially once it was announced by uh, the founder of the brand that it was discontinued. I remember those days. Uh, Victor posted it on Facebook, he posted it on Instagram, and I remember fragheads all over the place were going a little crazy. I have to buy a bottle, I have to buy a backup bottle. Um, I'm so happy I have a bottle. At that time, me, um, I should have clued in, but I really wasn't delving into this brand. I didn't really know what people were talking about. Usually that's a good thing. When people start going crazy that a fragrance got discontinued, it's probably a good fragrance. Well, I'm blessed enough and I, I thank uh, Victor for this sample right here because now I know what those people were doing. You know, if you, if I only had this sample of the discontinued bat, I'd be kind of upset right now during this test drive. This is a unique test drive, just like T-Rex, because bam. <laughs> and as a frag head, uh, Victor, I'm blessed. Thank you so much so much um, that I could get my hands on this back in 2019. I'm finally unboxing it, but I did want to do a video to give this fragrance it's just due as far as a test drive. Yes, we're going to get a full-fledged review on the Robezoid channel on this particular fragrance. Again, some people may be selling it partial bottles, sometimes on eBay, something like that. So I feel the fragrance review still has value and of course, to give the brand its just due on what they just did with this fragrance. Well, today, you're going to find out a little bit from this nose what I thought about that. Let's go. family welcome to take taking a test drive this is where i test drive a set prior to purchasing and forgetting about it so you already know what happened with this one i wear them from one to two wearings and let you know my thoughts good bad and the ugly before i get into that please take the time to subscribe down below and hit that bell so you can keep tabs on yours truly you don't want to miss the new content in 2020 from this guy right here i'm also all over social media you can follow me on all platforms obviously uh, my name on all platforms is my youtube handle robes 08 you can also find me under fragrance guru talking about social media i do have a facebook a fragrance a group um, if you do have a Facebook account, I highly recommend for you to go check out my Facebook group, uh, which is called Fragrance Guru Nation. We're up to 16,900 members now, and we're waiting for you to join us and talk about fragrances, uh, new releases, people are buying, selling, uh, splitting fragrances, and all sorts of stuff. So go check us out on FGN. Now, today, as the title suggests, I am taking a test drive of that by the House of Zoologist. Um, I know that there is a re-release coming out of this uh, brand for Bat. Bat is coming back, but this is of course the old school fragrance. Um, I have a little bit left. Mm, not enough for this review. Um, it is my set of the day. I'm wearing it right now. Um, I do have the dry down here, but uh, I think it's time to crack her open while we're doing this test drive. So let's take a look under the hood first and foremost about this particular fragrance. So let's take a look at some stats on this one. So the release date was 2015 on this particular fragrance. Uh, Concentrations Extrait de Parfum. These bottles are gorgeous, by the way. Just putting it out there. Uh, the nose behind this is Ellen Covey. And the major notes that I get, um, very interesting fragrance let's remind me of this introduction i'm going to give the fragrance community one spray i'm not going to waste too much of this stuff because this is gold now um oh yeah the major notes in this freight the major notes in this fragrance pardon me soil tincture um it smells like damp earth banana and fig um, so there's some fruity takes on this particular fragrance and there is some earthy, uh, mossy takes in this fragrance. Um, very 
unique. Um, I love that about this particular fragrance. So let's get into it. The opening of Bat. The opening of Bat is very interesting. It's very challenging. Um, it has a beautiful, um, dark, damp, earthy tone, which reminds me of just grabbing some wet soil and bring it up right to your no nose. Um, it really reminds me of, in Canada here, spring. Once that earth gets, uh, of course the snow starts melting, um, you start getting that wet soil, very rich, um, earthy opening and simply outstanding. Then you know what? Boom, this thing changes. It just goes left lane, right lane. You don't even know where you're going. It's changing lanes like it's nobody's business. And it hits you with a tropical fruit note and a mineral-like aspect. It also has a very interesting cooling factor. It kind of reminds me of when going into a cave where a bat would be. Let's take, a, let's take the imagery of this uh, particular animal for zoologists here. And let's go right into the cave and it gives you those chills a bit. Now that could be the fig. Um, kind of, it kind of gives you a watery cooling aspect. I don't know, very interesting. I've never in my journey go from darkness to fruity in less than 60 seconds in a particular set. This is a very much a changing lanes in a sense that I have never even experienced before. It went from dark, dank, earthy black um soil right in my nose to boom bananas figs um fruity feel and then it morphs into a mineral um cooling factor and of course that it has that earthy feel to the the fragrance too it still stays there at this point the scent reminds me of damp soil vetiver some fruity nuances that really reminds me of dark purple figs and bananas that are ripe and really just some dirty bats eating them on the ground almost like compost it really reminds me of that it's truly artistic as i said especially in this opening um it, it really is something unique in my fragrance journey i've never smelled a fragrance like this i can't stop smelling my hand on how good this opening is on that. Very interesting, very artistic. Now, let's get more into the dry now. Now, once this gets, settles on my skin a little bit, once we get into the heart, uh, that cooling breezy feature of the cave with some musky and mineral compounds add themselves to the picture. There's leather here, which is placed perfectly, does not overwhelm the user. I felt the leather was well done here. Same with the myrrh. It makes me think of bats, fruits on the ground, composting, and a cold breeze. The notes mesh so well that it truly paints a picture to me, and uh, fragrances do that, but it almost makes me forget that I'm wearing a fragrance as I'm kind of appreciating a piece of art right now on my skin. That's how it kind of makes me feel. This is a special piece from a brand that jumps from the top of my list of brands to continue to check out with every single release. You've got my attention now. You got T-Rex, you got Bat. I have a third bottle coming up soon on my channel, so keep that tuned in. But after that, it's Sample City for me. I got a whole bunch of samples from the brand and I'm kind of scared because I've only sampled just a bit of them. And from what I'm getting from T-Rex and this one right here, I might have to open up my wallet. Now let's get into the revolver where I talk about seasons, day or night, uh, versatility, performance, all that good stuff. Let's start with seasons. Seasons with this one, this is a perfect scent for a rainy night. Like I'm thinking overcast, I'm thinking, oh man, this is gonna be perfect. Like spring is hopefully right around the corner. Probably not here in Canada. I probably still have four months of winter here in January, but um, once spring rolls around, um, especially when you can finally start wearing a sweater outside and going for a walk, um, and it may be raining a little bit, a little bit of drizzle, this is gonna be perfect, perfect scent for a rainy night. I can see that. Day or night, um, I just feel like this has night written all over it. Uh, versatility. 
that's why it takes a little bit of a hit i feel like this is low versatility um you kind of have to think before wearing this one especially that opening um once it gets more into the dry down it's less brash um and i've done that kind of testing to see you know wearing it the first hour or two versus the fifth or seventh hour things like that um i'm seeing a difference first hour there's a lot of people going mark <laughs> with this one um this is a me set uh <laughs> performance uh just like t-rex i felt like this one had a huge push um eight to twelve hours heavy projection not beast but fairly heavy on my skin and at times i felt this lost its punch i was like oh that is losing steam but it came in and out of action a little bit so i got to keep an eye on that uh when i'm going to start my reviewing session with this one is to see uh where it goes but i felt like overall i'm very happy with the performance on this one so now my final take on zoologist's bat this release is artistic to the max um this and t-rex really are right up my wheelhouse like these are the type of fragrances that i wear for me um they're challenging they're artistic they're beautiful um oh, like <laughs> they're great uh, i feel like i'm in trouble once i discover more of this brand that's all I'm, I'm thinking right now i think honestly this piece is probably the most artistic scent i've smelt in 2019 and the year's pretty much done well the year is done from shooting this video today. A huge winner in my books. I also hear that Victor is working or it's already in the works on re-releasing this fragrance without the banana note and replacing it with another fruity note. Um, so hopefully, I can't wait to test that one out actually. I'm looking forward to that release. If it's different enough, I might have two bottles of that in my collection depending. I really like what is surrounding the fruity note. Um, so if we have a different fruity note, I might even pull the trigger on that stuff. Um, so again, uh, thank you so much to the brand of Zoologist uh, for me to uh, get a bottle of this. A little late in the game, but I still got one. I'm so pleased with what I have here and I, it, it came to a nice home. <laughs> if I had to give it a score out of 10, and I like to do this of course on my test drives on samples, just to give you guys an initial thought of what kind of score I would get on the Robes Away channel, um, this would be a 10 out of 10. Like T-Rex is a 10, this is a 10. Um, this brand is just, just like Slumber House. When Slumber House, uh, when I first got those fragrances, they were 10s all day. Um, this is 10 all day. Um, I'd love to hear your take on this release. Have you smelt this fragrance back in the day? I'd love to hear your take, good, bad, and the ugly. I know this is a polarizing scent, so there may be some different types of uh, comments below, and I certainly appreciate everybody's take on this scent. Now I'll leave you with a few takes from my social media. I asked everybody on my social media, Twitter, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I asked uh, what they thought about this particular fragrance, good or bad. I'm gonna put them in the back end. I certainly appreciate every single one of you that took the time to write to me on this scent. Um, merci beaucoup. As always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching YouTube, have a good one.